What is sniping? Well, sniping is simply buying right when a token is listed. This gives you the best possible position. You're buying at the lowest price and then a bunch of buyers are coming in and they are buying after you, increasing your profits. So that's why in MEV DAO, I've created this sniper bot. This uses flash bots and it allows you to snipe tokens and make a lot of money. Let me show you how it works. So if first you, you purchase the subscription, you can buy in crypto or in, in card. And once you enter, you can open the sniper bot. And the first thing is you connect your wallet. In this case, I'm using Goerly because I'm going to show you how this works in a testing environment. Then you need to deploy a sniper contract. In this case, I, I do have deployed a, a sniper contract, which is already done, so I don't need to do it in, again. In any case, the sniper contract is here in the step seven. This is the sniper contract and you can recover the money any, anytime. But before going there, let me indicate how this works. You indicate the token that you want to snipe, you must be, you know, you can find the token on Pancake, I mean, Pink Cell, Twitter, Telegram, any any platform where there are new tokens being created, you paste the address of the token. Now, the list, the function to listen to, now this is, some tokens use the liquidity at liquidity ETH function on Uniswap V2, while others have an enable trading or a different function for that. In this case, Right now, the bot only allows the at liquidity ETH function, which basically means the bot will be waiting until the liquidity is added, until this event is detected on Uniswap V2, by the way. More will be coming in the future. And once that function is detected, the bot will buy right after the best position using flash bots so that you are the first buyer and you get the lowest price. This is the signature for the at liquidity if function in the future you will be able to change this but for simplicity right now it is like so now the snipe amount you need to specify how much do you want to buy let's say you want to buy one ether worth of tokens you, you send one ether the bribe amount is how much do you want to give to the miners because in flashbots you gotta pay an extra that goes to the flashbot the miners that they will include in order to include your sniping function right after the liquidity this is important you can specify 0, 01 or 0, 05 but i recommend something between 0, 01 and 0, 05 if you want to make sure you are the first buyer because some tokens are have huge communities a lot of people are waiting to buy and you gotta give miners some ether this goes directly to miners by the way and that allows you to be the first buyer that's how flashbots works once you set up these settings, you click on submit settings and you provide funds to the bot. This basically means we are sending ether to the smart contract, to the sniper smart contract in order for us to be able to, you know, snipe tokens because with a smart contract, we are able to make more profitable, more effective sniping interactions. You don't need to specify your private key this is much safer. Once everything is specified, you start the bot and you will see the locks. But before doing that, let me show you a real example. So let me go to Remix. Here's a token I've created, a simple token smart contract. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deploy the token. And once the token is deployed, I'm going to submit the settings to MEV DAO so that it knows which token I want to snipe. You know, I copy the address here. I paste the token address right here and the token to snipe here. Submit the settings, everything is saved. And now the contract, the MEV DAO bot is ready to snipe the token. So now that, I, that I've created the token, I'm go, I'll go to Uniswap. And the way it works is you go to Uniswap, the, person in charge, the developer in charge of the token will go to pools and they will go to V2 liquidity. Why V2? Because most tokens go to V2 since it's much simpler. It's, it allows you to snipe tokens that have transaction fees, which is a big thing. So the developer will go to here 
and it will add the liquidity. You don't need to do anything here. This is just the developer that it's adding the liquidity. They specify the credit pool, which allows people to trade Unisub. Let me start the bot. It says start successfully. Now you click on here and you see the bot is checking transactions. It's reading every transaction on the blockchain. It's waiting for this token to execute this function at liquidity ETH, which is when the trading is enabled on Unisub and when you can buy at the best price. So now we are waiting for this to approve. And once it's approved, we can create the pool. And this is where the trading starts. And this is where we snipe the token so that we become the first buyer and get the best price. Click on here and you see it detected the transaction right here. And it's sending all these parameters. Now let me stop the bot. So you, you can you can see many things here. First of all, it detected it made a simulation simulating the trade, making sure you are able to buy without any errors. This is just for information purposes. Then it showed the submitting bundle with the, the fees, the gas fees that are gonna be used here. And the final transaction, this is where the transaction where you are gonna buy. It's sending from this user to the smart contract that you've deployed, well, for, to the smart contract from this user, which is the operator, by the way, this is an, a separate contract, a separate user. And at the same time, it is sending a regular transaction. This is a flashbots transaction here, and this is a regular transaction where you don't use flashbots. You just set up the gas fees and send it there. And it's done. It, it is send, it's sending a flashbot transaction and a regular transaction. Why? Because sometimes flashbots doesn't create the block where the transaction is included. There are many block builders and that may be created by another block builder. That's why it fails sometimes, not because everything is wrong, but anything's wrong, but because the block builder is not flashbot. And two, it sends a regular transaction, which means a normal, just a normal buy with the specified gas price. And here, what this tells us is that the bundle is has been sent, but it's not included by the miners, which means for whatever reason, the miners didn't choose this bundle and they didn't allow you to position yourself as the best buyer from this account, which is the operator account, which is the one responsible for executing the smart contract that snipes everything. And you can see the transaction right here. This is buying the token that I've created. This is the sniper account. And this is the the liquidity adding event, you know? This is the user that is creating the liquidity and this is the user that is sniping that token so that it becomes the first buy. You can see they're both in the same block. This is the block number. And that that's great. That means we are able to buy, we were able to buy right at the same block when the token is included, even though we didn't use Flashbot because for whatever reason this block wasn't created. The position in the block, this is what's important. This means the liquidity at event, you see at liquidity ETH has been in the position 19 and the sniping transaction, the one you are using to buy is in the position 29, which is very close. They're very close. It's not right next to it, but it's very close. Why is this important? Because the closer you are to the liquidity event, the more, the better price you get because there are many snipers, it's not just you, there are many other snipers that are watching tokens and they are sniping tokens. That means when you buy a token, when you're trying to snipe a token, there are many others that will buy the first block it is included. You know, someone sees a good token with a community, they know that there will be a lot of buyers coming in, so they, they snipe it. And yeah, that's, that's the point. You are making money from all these people that are coming in right after you. I hope you get the idea. This is a platform for you to snipe tokens and to make a lot of money because once you snipe, snipe a token, you can make a lot of money by selling at a larger price than the one you got it. So let me deploy a new token and let's try to snipe it and make sure it is included in the first transaction in the first position using flashbots. As you can see, the bundle was included. Let me stop this. 
I've created a token, I've added liquidity, and it uses Flashbots to make sure I buy in the first position. Let me see how, let me show you how this looks like. So we sent a regular transaction and a Flashbots transaction. Transaction goes to here. Let me open the, the liquidity event. <clears throat> so this is the one. Check the the position in the block. It says two, and this one has a position one. This is where the liquidity is added at liquidity ETH, where the token is created, where the token is made available for trading on Uniswap. That's the first position, and here it is where the token is sniped in the second position. Here the sniper bot detected the liquidity being added and bought right after this token right after the liquidity this guarantees you the best absolute position which means if someone else comes and buys let's say one ether two ether that is increasing your price it's making your token the token that you just purchased more profitable and then you can sell them and make a lot of money in the next block or you can wait a bit more but the thing is you're making money that way and yeah finding tokens is the most important thing you can do that in pink sale you can see launch pants there is like a list of launch pads you can go to ethereum once you simply take a look at the token and, and snipe those you can you can find the token here this is the token address this is the token you will copy and put right here then you would simply wait for the token to be included on uniswap well you will start this sniping bot and show that it's running properly then you will wait for it to include on uniswap and that's when is you see a listing on uniswap and that's where the token sniper will come in and make a lot of money by buying right after the liquidity is added hope this has been helpful and make sure to go to MEV DAO and purchase a subscription you can buy with crypto or with your credit card it will give you access to a sniper bot you have three days trial you can try it for free for three days if you use a credit card and you have a money buy guarantee which means if you don't if you're not satisfied for any reason you can get your money back instantly or you can you know send me an a telegram here and i will refund you personally yeah if you want to recover your funds you can click on here but if there is any errors you simply send me a message on telegram or email and i will fix it for you hope this has been helpful and talk to you soon